Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about muzzles. When to muzzle your dog, how to muzzle train your dog, what to use them for, are they good, are they bad? So let's just jump right in. Okay, the muzzle that I buy for clients or that I use is a Baskerville muzzle. B-A-S-K-E-R-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Baskerville muzzle. You can purchase them online on Amazon and you want to measure your dog's snout and pick the right size. So I just ordered this off of Amazon. It's a size four. It fits my Boxer Brittany Spaniel mix really well. It's a little bit small for my German Shepherd. It's a little bit small for my standard poodle noses, just a heads up. So it's a size four. It fits my bo Boxer uh, Spaniel mix just fine, but it's a little bit small for German Shepherds, a full grown German Shepherds, full grown standard poodles. So let's talk about the muzzle. When do we use them? Why do we use them? First of all, muzzles are phenomenal. Most of my trainer dogs, my trainer's dogs, are muzzle trained even though they're not aggressive. And it's not just about muzzling an aggressive dog. A lot of trainers will muzzle train their dogs in case the dogs get in an accident, uh, there's a natural disaster, your dogs have to be muzzled, your dog gets injured and the vet wants to muzzle your dog because you're dealing with an injured dog and you don't want the dog to snap because they're in pain while you're working on their leg. So my recommendation is to always muzzle train your dogs even if they're not aggressive. And I'm gonna get into that here in just a second. Does the muzzle reduce training, reverse training? Like if your dog is fully trained and you put a muzzle on, will the dog, will it undo the training? Will the dog think then that it's being punished, not if you train the dog in the right way. Um, and so muzzles are just fantastic. I'm a huge fan of the muzzles where they can uh, pant, drink, and eat. This way they can wear muzzles for extended periods of time and it doesn't interfere uh, with their biology. And then also on the rim here, you are welcome to get some, if you go to your local craft store, you can get some like soft material to put on the top. And then that way, uh, if your dog is wearing muzzles for an extended period of time, you don't get a sore on the nose. Because even though this is just rubber, it's hard rubber, and if your dog needs to wear a muzzle for an extended period, you want to get some nice soft material to put it on the, uh, on the bridge of the nose, so that way the dog uh, does not form a sore. When should you muzzle your dog? Well, the most obvious answer is you should muzzle your dog if your dog has a bite history, if they're aggressive, if they snap at other dogs or people then muzzling your dog is gonna keep your dog safe. So a lot of people think it's to keep other people safe so they don't get bit. And that's absolutely true, that's the first priority. But the other just as important one is it keeps your dog safe. If you have a power breed, German Shepherd, Pitbull, these breeds that get discriminated against and your dog bites, then you, you might, your dog might have to go into quarantine and all that uh, logistical stuff. So it keeps your dog safe from the repercussions of kids running up and hugging your dog from behind, um, well-meaning people who, who don't listen to you and you say, no, my dog's not friendly and they come towards your dog anyways. So the muzzle keeps people safe from being bit, but it keeps your dog safe from stupid people. <laughs> your dog should wear the muzzle. If you're muzzle training the dog, your dog can wear the muzzle anytime you want to, right? Just make sure they're not getting sores on their nose and that sort of thing. When should your dog not wear the muzzle? Um, use your best judgment, right? Don't put your dog in a muzzle 24 seven. My best recommendation is use the muzzle when needed. You know, for me, for do my dogs that are not aggressive, I usually will leave it on for two or three hours at a time. Um, I generally will take the muzzle off when they're in the crate, when they're contained, when they're safe. But to me, it's just use your best judgment. What are you using the muzzle for? And then just be aware that the dog's not getting any, any sores and give your dog's face a rest from the muzzle if they've had it on for a while. Okay, let's show you how to put it on a dog. None of my dogs have ever been muzzle trained, so this is the first for them. And I'm gonna show you two different methods to do this. The first method is my favorite, and that's simply because personally, I'm not a fan of spending weeks and months training dogs to do things. I'm generally a fan of, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this now, obviously humanely and ethically, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this now, and no nonsense behavior. That's my favorite way to do things. So that's the first method I'm gonna show you. 
The second method is the um, positivity, the using the food, the making it really exciting for the dog, which is also really positive as well. The benefits of the first method, of the no-nonsense method, is purely human-based. I don't have time to take weeks to muzzle train four dogs. And I'm just not the personality that cares as long as it's humane and ethical. I don't really care. Life is not a bed of roses. I tell my dogs to accept it and let's just move on and life goes on. So that's just my personality. Um, and so if, so if you're that type of personality and if you need to muzzle train your dogs quickly and efficiently and you're under time constraints, this is the way to do it. The second way, which is more positive, which is food and treats. If you have like one dog and this is something you want to do and you want to do this as an activity, by all means, this is a fantastic way to do that. If you have the time, if you have one dog and this is an activity, then I would probably recommend number two, which is with food and treats. But pick whichever one works best for you and let's get started.